Hunter Biden has been defending himself against allegations of corruption since his father was Barack Obama's vice president. Selling access or trading on influence is a common thing in Washington. In fact, you might recall the Trump children being accused of similar things. But ahead of the election last year, Mr Biden said things would be different in his administration. I will take steps to tackle the self-dealing conflicts of interest, dark money and rank corruption, he said, that are serving narrow, private or foreign agendas and undermining our democracy. So, in a White House that says it's committed to anti-corruption, Hunter Biden's suspected ties to international banks and deals with foreign governments raise some difficult questions. In fact, let me walk you through some of his business dealings. In 2013, Hunter begins an unpaid position on the board of a Chinese bank. A year later, in 2014, he joins the board of the Ukrainian natural gas firm Burisma. Then, in 2017, the New York Post reported he was receiving $10 million in an annual fee from a Chinese billionaire for introductions. In 2019, Hunter's laptop is seized by the FBI and on it was an email from an advisor from Burisma who thanked him for an invitation to Washington to meet Joe Biden. Last year, Republican lawmakers launched an investigation into Hunter's work for the Ukrainian firm, but there was no evidence that US foreign policy was influenced by it. So no criminal activity has been proven, but plenty of lines of inquiry. I'm joined by Ben Shrek. He is uh, Ben Shrekinger, I beg your pardon. He's the national political correspondent at Politico and the author of The Biden Inside the First Family's 50-Year Rise to Power in Portland, Maine. I'm sorry, your, your name went across two lines of the prompter. I do beg your pardon. Um, it's a tough listen, one. Listen, I, I want to go back to the, the story this summer that Hunter Biden would sell paintings with initial prices of half a million dollars, which would be quite a fee, would it not, for an established painter? Yes, and an absolutely extraordinary sum for a debut painter to fetch for a work. Uh, we don't know for sure uh, whether he has sold any paintings for that price yet. He recently did have an art show out in Los Angeles. Um, but this immediately invited concerns from ethics experts uh, about the possibility that someone who wanted to ingratiate themselves with Joe Biden uh, could wildly overpay for art created by Hunter Biden. If we go back to this same period last year, when Donald Trump and the Republicans were pushing this story about Hunter Biden and, and what he was selling, um, there was a tendency, I think, among liberal commentators, in fact, <laughs> I have to say, we were in the same boat, about whether to report on it. Because it was coming from Trump, Rudy Giuliani was involved in it, and let's face it, his track record isn't great. There were US Intel officials dismissing it as Russian disinformation, the, the material that was on his laptop. But I want to ask you, now that all the noise has gone from that, what do you see in some of these emails? Was, was some of it true? I've been able to confirm some of the emails from this uh, leaked laptop. Uh, including one in which uh, this Ukrainian representative of Burisma, as you mentioned, is thanking Hunter for the opportunity to meet Joe Biden, uh, and one in which there's a discussion uh, of Hunter of uh, possibly holding equity in a venture on his father's behalf. Uh, so those emails are genuine. Uh, the interpretation of them, uh, we don't know exactly uh, what happened or what didn't. Joe Biden has said that he uh, has never discussed or his campaign has said that he's never discussed going into business with his family or, or holding equity in this way um, and that he didn't have a meeting with this Ukrainian businessman, Vadim Pisarsky. Uh, and so some of these things remain in, in question. Um, what's not in question is that there are ethics concerns being raised uh, about this painting venture, just as there were very legitimate ethics concerns that were raised about Hunter's work for Burisma back when his father was overseeing the Obama administration's policy in Ukraine. There was a, a federal criminal investigation that began shortly after the election. Where has that got to? That investigation, as far as we know, is ongoing. Uh, David Weiss is the U.S. attorney who was kept on in Delaware to oversee that investigation. Uh, and there's been no indication that he's left his post. Uh, and so that is a signal that the Hunter Biden and related investigations uh, appear to be ongoing still at this time. A story that rumbles on. Ben Schreckinger, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me.